So let's have a quick look to see which way we need to move our weight depending on what's going on with our moment index units. So our max takeoff weight is 29.50 and the, if we go to our echo uh, exam charts that they give us, you'll see here that at 29.50 the center of gravity needs to be between 25.60 and 26.80. So let's go with 2600 as an example. So 29.50 times 2600 is going to equal, what was it, 7670, 7670, seven, and we need to put a comma in there, and we'll just stretch that out a little bit, those days I'm online. Now, that's how many kilogram millimeters, let's divide that by 10,000. So divide by 10, 1, 2, 3, 767 uh, index units, right? So let's just copy that and let's go with 767 I use. Get rid of the comma. Okay. So let's now have a look let's assume that we were outside the center of balance which way would we need to go so now let's just shift the weight and see what happens to the index units okay so let's just see what happens when the weight's a little bit further back let's change that outside the center of gravity outside our center of gravity range or our safe flight envelope 2700 and see what happens. So we'll leave these numbers over here. Grab our calculator. Let's go 2950 times 2700 equals 7965. Okay, so we can just uh, copy that and that's going to be 7965. Okay, and as you can see, that's going to come out at uh, 790. What's it going to be? 797 by the time we round up. As you can see, as we shift weight back, the index weights go up. So, the point of this video is for you to recognize that the index units go up as we shift back, and as we shift the weight forward, the index units go down. So if you come out, if you do your calculations and you come out with say 797 and then you come over to your echo loading chart and you go to 2950 and there's 750, that would be 800 there and you come out at 797, then straight away you can see that you need less index units and you now know by just doing that math with me that now what you can do is you can you need to reduce the number of index units therefore you need to shift that weight forward so what you would do is you'd shift some of these here or you'd shift a passenger if you could shift swap a heavy and a light passenger and once each of these get full so obviously the first place to put them is up there but once each of these gets full to its max capacity which is stipulated in the document there okay um at 55 kilos and that from the working that we did before then what you can't you can't shift anything forward so if you're still outside the envelope then your only choice is actually to either get rid of uh fuel see if it brings you forward okay get rid of some of this fuel or better still probably just get rid of one of those parcels there now given that we are learning to do this for a commercial flight situation they're always going to want to shift as many passengers and as many as much cargo as possible because that's what pays the bills that's the reason the aircraft's flying so obviously if we can get rid of some fuel and still be very safe and have our fixed reserves have our company policy if they've got variable reserves or if it's required to have a variable reserve and as long as we've got enough for our alternates if they're required and our own discretionary fuel you know for our own personal minima then that's fine to go but if not, if we need that amount of fuel to be safe, plus to, for our own personal minima and the companies, then it's then time to start unloading some of this cargo back here to try and get us back inside that safe flight envelope.